you'll see later is Exos 1, which was basically a proof of concept. Uh, what that ultimately means is that it, it showed that the person could move normally within the exoskeleton and not be hampered by it, uh, that their reflexes all worked, and then there were a whole collection of tasks to show that the person could do normal things like walking, going up and down stairs, going up inclined planes, uh, testing the reflexes, for instance, by hitting a punching bag, that kind of thing, kicking a soccer ball. Those are all sort of demonstrations that the person um, can do what they want to do and the suit doesn't prevent them from doing that. Exos 2 uh, had a goal of, of reducing power consumption. Uh, and uh, so far, it's, it's about 50% of what Exos 1 was using, and yet it's actually a higher strength and faster and more graceful. Uh, Exos 1 could lift about 35 pounds with each arm. Exos 2 could lift 50 pounds with each arm, as an example. Um, there are anticipated ultimately to be two versions of the Exos, and there'll obviously be a lot more than that in, in the various specialties. But the two big discrepancies or variances are one is a combat variant, which is actually from here down, and that would allow a person to carry a heavy pack without actually carrying it themselves. So packs up to, let's say, 200 pounds. Currently, uh, uh, soldiers are carrying about between 120 and 150 pound packs, which is pretty bruising throughout an eight hour day. Um, and so the goal there is to lighten the soldier's load. Um, the full exos that, that Rex is wearing uh, would be used for logistic support. So basically lifting and, and transporting things, for instance, loading trucks, unloading trucks, um, uh, being used to, for instance, load munitions uh, and move those and that, that kind of thing. Uh, typically, right now, uh, people who do those types of tasks are moving about 16,000 pounds a day. Uh, and that causes a lot of injuries. It also takes a lot of people. Uh, the goal with this is to reduce the manpower required and to increase their endurance, which, which it would obviously do since it amplifies the, the, their strength. Right now, this version, um, Rex can uh, apply one pound by himself, and the Exos can apply 17 pounds. So that's the amplification of this one. On Exos 1, it was about a 6 to 1 ratio. So I think that's about it. Uh, unless people have more questions. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, I'll put you out. Let's flip around and do the projectile mix. Okay.